Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, November the 21st, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 121 to 144. Malachi chapter 1, beginning at verse 1 through, and 6 through 14, and the Song of Moses, Exodus 15, verse 1 through 18. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I have done what is right and just. Let me not be oppressed. Alleluia, Psalm 119. Alleluia, I have done what is right and just. Let me not be oppressed. Vouch for the welfare of your servant, lest the proud oppress me. My eyes yearn for your saving help and the promise of your justice. Treat your servant with love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, give me your knowledge. Then I shall know your will. It is time for you to act, for your law has been broken. That is why I love your commands more than finest gold why I rule my life by your precepts and hate false ways. Your will is wonderful indeed, and therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. I open my mouth and I sigh as I yearn for your commands. Turn and show me your mercy. Show justice to your friends. Let my steps be guided by your promise and let no evil rule me. Redeem me from those who oppress me, and I will keep your precepts. Let your face shine on your servant, and teach me your decrees. Tears stream from my eyes, because your law is disobeyed. God, you are just indeed, and your decrees are right. You have imposed your will with justice and with absolute truth. I am carried away by anger, for my foes forget your word. Your promise is tried in the fire and is the delight of your servant. And though I am weak and despised, I remember your precepts. Your justice is eternal justice, and your law is truth. Though anguish and distress have seized me, I delight in your commands. The justice of your will is eternal. If you teach me, I shall live. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I have done what is right and just. Let me not be oppressed. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Malachi, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. An oracle, the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. A son honors his father and servants their master. If then I am a father, where is the honor due me? And if I am a master, where is the respect due me? Says Yahweh of hosts to you, O priests who despise my name. You say, how have we despised your name? by offering polluted food on my altar. And you say, how have we polluted it? By thinking that Yahweh's table may be despised. When you offer blind animals in sacrifice, is that not wrong? And when you offer those that are lame or sick, is that not wrong? Try presenting that to your governor. Will he be pleased with you or show you favor? Says Yahweh of hosts. And now implore the favor of God that he may be gracious to us. The fault is yours. Will he show favor to any of you, says Yahweh of hosts? Oh, that someone among you would shut the temple doors so that you would not kindle fire on my altar in vain. I have no pleasure in you, says Yahweh of hosts, and I will not accept an offering from your hands. For from the rising of the sun to its setting, 
My name is great among nations, and in every place incense is offered to my name, and a pure offering, for my name is great among the nations, says Yahweh of hosts. But you profane it when you say that the Lord's table is polluted, and the food for it may be despised. What a weariness this is, you say, and you sniff at me, says Yahweh of hosts. You bring what has been taken by violence, or is lame, or sick, and this you bring as your offering. Shall I accept that from your hand, says Yahweh? Cursed be the cheat who is a male in the flock and vows to give it, and yet sacrifices to the Lord what is blemished. For I am a great king, says Yahweh of hosts, and my name is reverenced among the nations. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in your church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Alleluia, I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Alleluia, the song of Moses. Alleluia, I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider you have thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my might, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors, God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's chariots and Pharaoh's army you cast into the sea. Pharaoh's picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Most High, your right hand, glorious in power, shattered the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your steadfast love, you led the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength to your holy abode, and you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own possession. The place, O God, that you made your abode, the sanctuary, O God, that your hands have made. You reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.